like, or if it's your choice to finance a cottage, uh, getting a mortgage shouldn't be a problem as long as you can comply with the requirements of a lender. I'm, I'm thinking of a bank in particular. Of course, you can always get private financing from a private lender. Your interest rate will be higher, uh, so I always suggest that you go with a mortgage broker who will help you find the right lender. If the mortgage broker points you in the direction of a bank, they will be looking for the standard things. They will want road access. They will want to know that you have hydro, heat, a septic. Uh, they will want a water source of some sort. Um, now, in my instance, uh, I live on the lake. I uh, have heat, hydro, a septic. I have a well. I also draw water from the lake in the summertime because it allows me to use that water in my garden. There is nothing like lake water for a garden. But I do want to be drinking my water out of a, a drilled well if, if possible. Um, know too that if you uh, do decide to take your water out of the lake for drinking, you can put a filter and a UV system on it, which will make it potable. Uh, you'll just need to determine whether you like the taste or if there is a taste to it. Uh, however, lenders are looking for those things. So as long as you can find a property that will comply, you will probably get your mortgage covered. Uh, I would suggest that you go to a mortgage broker of your liking. There are lots of them out there. Uh, some work in banks, some are separate mortgage lenders like uh, Dominion Lending. Uh, they are associated with Royal LePage and they do a great job and they try and help us as realtors uh, get our mortgage financing for our clients. So try someone you trust and get the financing for the lake property. Um, keep in mind that this can be a part of your investment portfolio, especially if you are willing to rent it out a little bit. You should also think about insurance for your cottage, if, especially if you're going to rent it out. Some insurance policies will allow you to rent for certain, a certain number of weeks in the summer. Uh, otherwise, if you're going to rent for more than those minimum weeks, you'll have to go with a larger policy. So check that out with your current insurance cover, uh, broker uh, for coverage. And um, a couple of other things that you should think about too. Who will come and take the garbage away at the end of each rental? You need to think about who would people call on if there's something that needs to be done. For example, if the hydro goes out, it may not be um, an issue with Hydro One. It may be an issue with the property itself and somebody needs to be called. If there's a plumbing issue, you will need to have somebody to come and help you with that. Most realtors that I know will provide a buyer with a list of people that they can contact just in case. But one of the things that I recommend that you do when you move into your new cottage, first off, invite your neighbors for a barbecue. Give them a hamburg or a hot dog and a glass of wine or a beer before you need them. Because when you do need them for their advice or for their help, they'll be ready. Until next time.